Hey, welcome to my channel. It's your one and only, the Oshun, and I am here to do a end of the month reading for my Capricorns. We're going to see what's going on with you guys, what information needs to be given to you, see how you're feeling, see what's coming your way, and all that good stuff, okay? So today I will be using my Earthly Delight Tarot deck right here, along with my Mystic Martians and my a uh, modern witch deck as well okay so first i want to thank spirit for allowing me to give guidance to the beautiful capricorns who are strong and all right we're going to find out what it is that they need to know capricorns capricorns, capricorns. for the end of the month for december end of the month what do we have for the end of the month You have the Ace of Coin right here. Looks like you got some new shit coming in, okay? And I feel like you're saying, fuck some other shit. Fucking old job. Fuck something that wasn't satisfying to you, okay? Let's see. All right, so let's see what we have for Capricorn. Can I get some cards for Capricorn for the end of December? The two of coin in reverse, the queen of swords in reverse. We have the high priestess in reverse. Six of Wands. You're definitely trying to give somebody something. The Three of Coin in reverse. Somebody is trying to run away from you. Then you have the Angel card. Somebody's coming in to save you. Somebody is coming in to save you. All right, so I'm going to pull some clarity cards for all of these. We do have the two of coins in reverse, the queen of swords, and the high priestess in reverse. We have the six of wands, the three of coins, and the angel card for my Capricorn. So can I get some clarity on this two of coins for the Capricorns? All right, so you have the queen of cups. I get some clarity for my Capricorns for the two of coins for the end of the month in December. Two of coins, two of coins, which is the two of pentacles card right here. And I just feel there is an offering coming through, a sexual offering coming through for you, Capricorn. Somebody is trying to offer their love for you. They're, they're coming in very, very strong. This person has a strong emotional connection with you, a strong emotional co uh, uh, it, it seems more like a uh, inf infatuation. This person is infatuated with you. And it seems like, you know what? You're going to turn down their offer or you, you're trying to turn back the offer. I feel like you guys are trying to be kind of nice about it you're trying to not go backwards with this, okay? I feel like you're trying not to go backwards with this. However, this person is going to keep poking at you until you decide to give in. Yeah, this person is going to keep poking at you until you decide to give in, Capricorn. 
they really i feel like they're going to try to use sex as a way to um to capture you capricorn but it's very clear that this person you turn them on you turn them on with this hair often the hierophant card in reverse right here i just get the signs that you are ignoring everything all red flags are all things that are telling you the reasons why you shouldn't do this okay you're ignoring this and if it's reasons telling you why you should you're ignoring it you're just ignoring that voice that's in your head kind of like your intuition it's your higher self that's that's trying to tell you something so you could very much so be interested in this person as well and you're trying to gently turn them down because you're at another place in life right now but they're coming in towards the end of this month and they're wanting to have some sexual encounters with you guys and it's like they're going to keep poking and poking and poking at you until you decide you know what um fuck it i'm gonna go ahead and do this i'm gonna go ahead and have sex with them and do this because you know they keep pushing it's like they're pushing you to do it they're teasing you they could be sending you messages sexy messages um new pictures or just like hey you remember blah 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 whatever but this person is definitely coming in strong for you guys and it's just like uh, you're trying not to go there with them but it's very clear that this person is going to keep pushing themselves on you until you let your guard down or you just go against what you really want to do is all I can say for you right now, Capricorn. This person is coming in for you. You do have the Queen of Swords in reverse. What is this Queen of Swords in reverse for? For my Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm hearing that this person thinks you have some sexy legs, okay? This person thinks you have some nice, long, sexy legs. They love to see you in heels, okay? Or you could be wearing heels to work, and there's somebody who loves the way you wear your shoes, okay? Um, you do have the Empress, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and you have the Knight of Pentacles as well, okay? So... Look at here. Look at here. Y'all are going to move forward with this. Y'all are moving forward. All right. So you guys are moving forward with your intuition. You guys are unblocking somebody. You guys are walking out of situations, relationships. And y'all are moving into something new. Something that's more serving you're um you're ready to offer something to somebody else now this also is giving me the vibe capricorn if you are in a relationship right now that somebody is y'all have decided or they have decided that birth control is no longer an option and they're ready to move forward with you they have let their guards down so they could be actually pregnant right now okay and they're about to to give you the offering of letting you know that you know they're pregnant they're about to give you the what you call it the stick that you pee on the pregnancy test this person could be actually giving birth now so y'all could be moving forward into uh having the actual child for some of you guys you could be getting ready to open up and offer somebody a ring some kind of commitment okay so it's just like you've gotten outside of your head you you've got the clarity that you've needed um and you're you're not sitting back and wondering what you should do anymore or how if this is the right person or how to move forward it's just like you're getting your answers you've gotten your answers and you're ready you're ready to walk into the next year uh committed ready to commit to something a person a thing, a job, an idea, you're ready to commit, you're ready to give it your all, you're ready to um, move forward with it, you're not holding back any longer, 
you do have the high priestess in reverse. I just get the vibe that you guys are trying to hold on to something. You are, you are trying to hold on to something or something is trying to hold on to you. Let me see. I know this is really weird, but I keep hearing blowjob. <laughs> I have no idea what that is for, but that is what I'm hearing. So like I said, we have this high priestess and I feel like there's something that is holding you back from fully fully moving forward. Even though you're unblocking yourself with this high priestess card, I'm getting the fact that you're you're you are not letting go. Okay, you're trying to hold on to someone, some some kind of thoughts, or somebody is still trying to hold on to you. There has been like a third person. There has been another person in all of your readings. Like this person is really, really committed to getting you back. This person could be coming back, trying to offer you. They're coming to you with a new offering. They're trying to hand you themselves. Um, they want you to see that they're they're willing to go with the go with the flow. That's all I keep hearing is going with the flow. They're willing to go with the flow, move a little freely with you, okay. However, you might not believe that this person is healed. You might believe that this person is just coming in and they're still on the same toxic nature as before, okay. It's just like you you see them dressed up on the outside and. You're just not really sure if they've really changed. I think that's something you're worried about. You you don't know if you can trust this person, okay? You're not you're not trying you're not sure if you can trust this person. You're not ready to give your all. You're not ready to put all of your eggs in one basket. You're not ready to pour into this. Uh, it's just like you're kind of going back and forth. Like I don't know. You're still you're still remembering some things from the past. That's what you can't let go with the high priestess. Is some some memories, some thoughts from the past with uh, this person here, this job that could be wanting you back. Okay. We have the page of cups with the six of wands. I feel like there's a there's a lot of people like y'all both have people that y'all could be with there's a like neither one of y'all are unsightly <laughs> there's a lot of opportunities out there but it's just like y'all are focused on this one opportunity you don't want to let it go get away Y'all yeah, definitely don't want to let it get away. Yeah, there's there's definitely going to be... It's something sneaky and secret that I'm picking up from these cards with the two of, the two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's something sneaky that I, I'm, I'm picking up here. It's like this person is trying to to try, is trying to get you to sneak out. This person is trying and they're texting you behind closed doors. But there's somebody watching you, Capricorn. There's somebody who's watching you that's not allowing you to do or talk to or move how you want to with this other person. Okay? It's like you don't want to be seen. I feel like you have to watch your back to make sure that there's somebody that's not seen. But you do want to give into this situation. 
All right, I'm getting the vibe that with the holidays coming up that you might be actually seeing this person or reaching out to this person. And it's just like uh, right now, Yeah, you're definitely gonna you're definitely gonna find a way to sneak away so you can get with this person. And it's like when you get with them, you're going to remember all of the feelings that you have. You're going to be overwhelmed with joy and happiness. You're gonna be happy that you came to be with them. Uh for some of y'all, y'all might actually go ahead and have that sexual encounter. Okay. Um, it's gonna be like, yeah, that that love that I had for you was not an illusion um this is really how i feel about you it wasn't fake you're going to start remembering that this person was everything and then you're actually going to come in or they're going to come in like ready to sweep you off your feet ready to move forward with you okay capricorn then you have the three of coins in reverse What is with the three of coins in reverse? What is going on with the three of coins in reverse for my Capricorns at the end of the month? Yeah. You have the three of coin right here. You have the nine of cups. You have the king of swords and the king of cups in reverse. You, you're definitely fighting. Okay. You're definitely fighting. And I feel like your fight is is for your happiness. This is the decision that I feel like is going to be of completion, okay? It's just like you are trying to, figure out how to let something go, okay? If you're already in a relationship and there's a third person, third party, you're trying to figure out how to let either one of them go, okay? Because you wanna make sure that you're making the best move, the right move, Capricorn. And right now, you're trying to weigh the logical with the emotional right here, okay? You're trying to weigh the logical with the emotional, okay? And with the Five of Pentacles, I just feel like you're going back for somebody that, you know, where the, it ended kind of kind of quickly, it ended kind of um, abruptly. Kind of felt like you were left out in the cold. I feel like that's the direction where you're going. You're going back there. You're going back there to fix it. Like I said, it's coming in with some kind of uh, coming in strong. This person is coming in for you. All right. You realize that this person is not the same person anymore. You're realizing that I just want to say like they've grown. Uh they've done a whole turnaround. Okay. A whole turnaround. And it's crazy because all these cards just flipped over. You have the eight of wands, the lovers, the five of swords, and the strength card right now. And it's just like Cupid is hitting you guys hard right now with this person, with this past person. Okay. And it's just like this person calms your soul. And it's just like, you calm them. And it's just like, maybe you're the calm person and this person rouse, like goes to war for you. You know, it's just like y'all balance each other out. The example that I can give you is like, if you go to a restaurant and like say Capricorn, you're a guy and you're very, very calm and your order is wrong. She's going to be the one that's going to get loud and make sure your order comes back out correctly and vice versa. And it's just like, if you're a woman and you're a Capricorn, and, you know, you feel slightly disrespected. He's going to stand up for you. Hey, man, chill out, blah, blah, blah. He's going to back for you. He respects you. Okay, there's like a, a highly, 
level of respect right here. Y'all compliment each other, okay? Um, it's like a lot of strength and pure. This is like some strong, pure love that I'm hearing between you guys. And it's just like y'all are making y'all's way back to each other. All right, it's just like y'all y'all grown, y'all realized, and it's just like you might not have thought the connection was there, but it's just like as soon as y'all start communicating, as soon as y'all see each other, I just feel like the sparks are going to take off at the end of this year. And y'all probably will be walking into the next year together. Because the last card that you have, Capricorn, is Angel. Okay, this person is coming in. I'm just hearing this person is coming in to, to heal the wounds that's left behind. And it could be the wounds that they left behind as well. Okay, so you have the King of Wands. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, y'all are definitely giving back to a situation, a past situation that you were sad about. Okay, y'all are y'all are going back to it, or you could be trying to connect with an a loved one through prayer. You could be trying to connect with a loved one through prayer to get the guidance that you need on moving forward. Okay. Yeah, the Ten of Cups and the Justice card. It's just like you're finally getting the happiness that you deserve, Capricorn. You're finally getting the happiness that you deserve. You're finally going to the other side. Um, it's just like maybe through all the hardships and everything that you went through throughout this whole year, you're finally coming out on the other side of happiness, okay? It's just like you have the new path, okay? And new beginnings are coming for you. New passion, new light, new love. Everything that you want, okay? It's just like you left all those old thoughts, the anxiety, being isolated. You left that all, all alone, and you're about to walk into destiny. Things that you're destined for, destiny, okay? So I'm going to pull this oracle card for you, Capricorn, from the Mystic Martian deck. And we have Tall Whites. And then you have the uncertainty, distrust, and guarded. And I really feel like that's where y'all are right now. Y'all are guarding yourselves from falling in love with this person again or, or, re <laughs> or recognizing that you still love this person. But I just feel like it's inevitable. You guys are going to reconnect before the year is over with. And you're going to realize how much y'all love each other, how much y'all miss each other, how much y'all connect, how much y'all have in common, and how much joy and passion are between you guys. Okay, Capricorns? So this is your end of the month reading, and I can't wait to see y'all in the next year. This is a goodbye.